thanks so much for being a part of our Bible study. We were blessed, blessed, blessed. And we thank God that we continued some of the um, statements of appreciation and outpouring of love. Thanks again so much. I and my family, we really do appreciate you and appreciate what God is doing among us. Hear what the Bible says. 1 Timothy chapter 4, it says, chapter 2 says, these people are hypocrites and liars and their consciences are dead. It means that they do not have a problem lying and playing the games to get you. And, and sometimes we don't see it because it's shrouded in religious garments. But you know what? They're always going to try to uh, deceive you. And I want to tell you what. It means these people know the truth, choose a lie, and then try to convince us that the lie is true. And sometimes because it includes some Bible stuff, we believe it, in case you are unaware. 80% of what the serpent said to Eve in the gardener's temptation was true. A lot of what the devil said to Jesus in the temptation came from the Bible. It, but it was not meant to glorify God, nor was it meant to honor His word or His will. Could you imagine that somebody who is trusted begins to tell you a lie? Oh my goodness, it's devastating. And the Bible says their consciences are dead. It means they either need, they either are seeking power, popularity, or financial gain. And we've got to be careful, look out for it, because somebody's trying to get something from us so that it might enrich their lives. So we stand resolute. We're not giving what we have that we've received freely from God. We're not giving it so that it is be used against God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand with you, resolute, immovable, standing in the faith, standing in your presence to do your will. Father, we will not give up what you have given to us that it might be used against you. So God, keep us. Sometimes we feel so weak and sometimes incapable of holding on for ourselves. This morning we ask you to help us, to keep us constant and and firm in your presence. Thanks for doing it, Father, in Jesus' name.